Hi everybody and welcome back to the Starseed Dragon channel. We are doing a review that was um, requested. It was requested by a viewer that I um, review an LGBTQ um, inclusive deck. And I found this deck, the Pride Tarot, a collaborative deck uh, by U.S. Game Systems, Inc. Um, includes 78 cards and a 92-page guidebook. Um, I do have an affiliate link in the description box below. My box um, looks like it got beat up. So hopefully not all the boxes are going to look like that. But um, it is lovely. Okay, so here we go with that. And I will be doing a giveaway um, after this review. I'll, I'll be giving this deck away. So um, I'll be reading the descriptions from these. You know as a, how I do. And let's see if these are... This is kind of... Mint there. That's all right. Let's see how inclusive this is. So, Pride Tarot. Let me just put on the old spectacles here. Open. Open you. Very loosely wrapped for some reason. Let's see. A collaborative deck on... 31 March 2017, Gilbert Baker, the creator of the iconic rainbow flag, sadly passed away. Mr. Baker was both an LGBTQ activist and artist and was known for helping friends create banners for protests and marches. To honor the memory of Gilbert Baker, New Fest and NYC Pride partnered with... Um, Font Self to create a free font inspired by the design language of the iconic rainbow flag. The front or the font was named Gilbert after Mr. Baker. Typewithpride.com. Gilbert is proudly used throughout Pride Tarot. Interesting. Love is love. So that's the See instructions for rainbow spread on page. Okay, so let's see if we have. Let's see. Well, this doesn't look like part. This card doesn't look like it's part of the actual deck. Because it starts off with the fool. But it's a great card to have. So we're going to start off with the full. Okay, good. Okay, so the back of the deck, love is love. That's beautiful. I love it. Let me get, where's my measuring tape? Where is it, fellas? Let's see. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. This is me being prepared. I think it's a normal size deck. Okay, so we have just under three inches by just under five inches. Or flip it over for the centimeters. Quit wiggling. Seven centimeters. Do, 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 do. By 12 centimeters. There we have it, kids. Alrighty. So, let's start off with the Major Arcana. And I'm just going to set that aside over here. And 
go in a little bit closer here so we could take a deeper look at the deck here. And we're going to start off with the Fool. Let me know in the comments if you think that this is LGBTQ inclusive or not, because I, I, I don't know just yet. We'll find out. Um, the Fool by Sam Hain. The Fool, contrary to coagular, coagular um, use of the word, um, represents innocence a new and new beginnings, a chance to start anew. It is not representative of a stupidity or a lack of intelligence, but rather optimism and hope. These concepts, especially in the current climate, require strength like never before. Uh, my synthesia which allows me to be to see emotions as colors, sees these concepts as bright sunshine, yellow, light blue, and a very happy pink. This interpretation is with a hiker beginning a journey side by side with their dog. I left the facial features of the individual nondescript in order to allow anyone to identify with them. Thanks, Sam Payne. I appreciate this. So each one of these, um, each one of these cards is done by a different artist. That is interesting to know. Nice. So let's go on to the next one. The Magician by Felix Dion. Here, the magician of traditional tarot takes the form of a Nahual, a Mexican witch or sorcerer, who has the ability to transform into an animal at will. Nahuals are a traditional part of Mexican belief in both indigenous and mezzo culture. They are gender fluid with the beard of a man, but with the hairstyle and earrings of a woman. They have the ability to transform not only into a beast, but to change their gender as well. They hold the four elements of the four suits, the wand, the cup, the pentacle, and the sword, for they have control over all of the necessary elements to manifest their intentions. They stand on a cliff face uh, overlooking a village, for they are between the heavens and the earth. They have access to both. They move through the world of the spirit and the world of men and have found wisdom and knowledge. Nice. Next card. The High Priestess by Polly Fay. From the breadth of the spirit realm, the high priestess brings gifts of wisdom and understanding. A guardian of mysteries, she holds secrets yet to be discovered within your life, urging you to seek the truth of your deepest desires. Her message is, you possess all the intuition you need to, in making your biggest decisions. Have faith in yourself and listen to your inner voice. Let go of insecurities that keep you from experiencing all the love and magic that life has to offer. You're being called to awaken your inner knowledge and vast inner power. My energy is here to guide you in conquering your fears as you grow even more fully into the courageous person you've meant, you're meant to be. Beautiful. That's a great message. Okay, next card, The Empress by Holly Sierra. The multicultural pan-gender uh, empress appears with arms outstretched, embracing all manner of Earth's creatures. Her youthful appearance bespeaks nature's eternal pattern of rebirth. 
Love and creation are her domain and her heart is an opening to the sky wherein resides the gentle blue path to the universe. Um, I chose to illustrate the Empress card as it appeals to me as an artist and a mother. The Empress signifies a strong connection with femininity no matter what our gender. Translating as gentleness, elegance, sensuality, fertility, creative expression, and nurturing. She reminds us of the necessity for creating balance in all our pursuits. The Empress signifies abundance and indicates we'll be surrounded by life's pleasures. I embraced this card, positive, this card's positive message for the pride theme because the world is becoming more open to gender issues now and her promise is that the equality we dream of will come to fruition. Well, that's a lovely message. Okay, next card. The Emperor by Caroline Haplin. The Emperor card comes from J. Caress Studios, a deck of lesbian queer major arcana. Well, now I have to buy that deck. Sitting upon the throne, the emperor represents authority and leadership. The emperor acknowledges the established structures, but often finds their own way to rule. This card particularly intends to depict a more masculine energy from a powerful female figure, as you can see with her physical demeanor. Next card. The Messenger, AKA The Hierophant, by Christy C. Road. The Messenger card portrays Genesis Gutierrez, an activist for transgender rights and immigration protection. She is the founding member of La Familia Trans Queer Libertarian Movement. The messenger articulates three levels of consciousness. The physical plane where you interact with the ideas, culture, language, and people who surround you. The astral plane where transitional energies and the spirits of your ancestors reside and the institutionalized plane where your hopes, fears, and values are, pre, are prescribed by authority figures. The messenger asks you to question those foundations that are based on fear and submission. She asks you to run between physical and astral planes, questioning the roots of the situation and excavating the um, the parts of it that keep you sound and allow you to breathe. The parts that rally your people and your connection to your community. The messenger asks you to lead by offering truth and elevating the voices of the unheard. That is lovely. Next card. Well, that's a very beautiful card. I love it. The Lovers by Robin Scott. My Lovers card incorporates scenes from the NYC Queer Liberation uh, March on June 30th, 2019, photographed for the Reclaim Pride Coalition. The phrase, an army of lovers cannot lose, was used in the headline of a leaflet distributed at the June 1990 NYC Pride March. The phrase dates back much further, occurring in Plato's Symposium. If there were only some, of, some way of contriving that a state or an army should be made up of lovers and their loves, they would be very best governors, they would be the very best governors of their own city. 
abstaining from all dishonor and emulating one another in honor. And when fighting at each other's side, although a mere handful, they would overcome the world. It also appeared in Rita Mae Brown's 1974 poem, uh, Sappho's Reply. Tremble to the cadence of my legacy, an army of lovers shall not fail. That is gorgeous. I really enjoy that message. Okay, next card. The Chariot. Uh, by Callie uh, Fredich. The chariot is representative of individual drive and ambition, being in control of oneself and the immediate surroundings. Caitlyn Jenner was chosen to portray this card because she had the drive and vision to become the woman she is today. In this card, the transgender flag is the canopy and the two uh, sphinx uh, represent transgender recognition through their cross-colored tails. The Los Angeles skyline is the backdrop behind the Los Angeles River. Caitlin is wearing the jaw-dropping satin one piece from her Vanity Fair cover of 2014. Truly a picture of confidence and willpower in the most positive way. She is portrayed as the self-disciplined and self-assured person she has always been. In 1975, Bruce Jenner won the Olympic medal for the decathlon before going on to become a motivational speaker, a role she has since reprised. Lovely. Next card. Strength. Oh, look how pretty that card is. Oh, beautiful card. Um, by Stanley Morrison. The strength card is about patience, resolve, and perseverance, but also illustrates the power of compassion and love. I used a dark-skinned mermaid uh, calmly facing the deep to represent fluidity and inner strength. Her crown is adored in pride and lesbian colors. The mermaid's fins also glow with the pride rainbow. Her armband and necklace are transgender colors. The bra is of heteros heterosexual colors. A lionfish with the head of a real lion shows a transition into one's courage and unpredictable nature. An orca whale is in the background as another symbol of power in the sea. Over the mermaid's head swims an eel, which is swimming in the shape of an infinity symbol. Gracious. That is quite beautiful. I like that card. I want to blow that up and put that picture on my wall. Okay. Next card, The Hermit by Christine Zillick. The Hermit is the tarot card closest to my heart. Its general meaning is reflection, the search for one's place in the universe and self-discovery. It is through solitude and meditation that we truly discover everything we need to know about ourselves. The Hermit carries a light that helps us find the right way um, and follow it. In my vision of the hermit, the forest symbolizes the place I come to rest by myself and meditate. My hermit is leaning at the foot of a powerful, healthy tree surrounded by nature. His garment is connected to the roots of the tree in order to absorb the energy of the forest and nature to become one with the universe. The light which symbolically helps him to find his own way is given to him by fireflies dancing near him. Fireflies to me embody the lightness of being and the light illuminating the darkness. That is beautiful. 
Next card. The Wheel of Fortune by Liz Blackbird. A disco ball flashes above a dance floor and a drag queen struts across a makeshift stage. Scenes of gay nightlife spanning decades crowd one corner. Gay bars, clubs, and discos have long been places of refuge and possibly a possibility in queer culture. A chance encounter may reveal the love of your life or end in heartbreak. Partying till dawn may bring euphoria or regret. The burning building and broken bottle near the bottom are reminders that places of refuge can become targets of violence. This card suggests that serendipity plays a role in your situation, but that luck can change. There are forces at work that are beyond your control, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't put yourself out there. Success may hinge on being in the right place at the right time and recognizing opportunity when you see it. Work with the cards Fate Deals and trust that what goes around comes around. Lovely. Next up, Justice by Katrin Wells Stein. The Justice card in Tarot deals with karma and universal order. The Justice card shows a woman who is balancing a scale around her neck. She wants to make a fair decision without any prejudice. The different colored flowers in her hair represents the differences in human beings, especially sexual preferences. By holding the flowers in her hands at the same height, Justice wants to show that everything should be handled impartially. All people ought to be treated equally. The velvet sword in her hair is an encouraging reminder to stay strong in the fight for gay rights. That's beautiful. Next card, The Hanged Man by Joe Lee. The Hanged Man here is an androgynous, non-binary individual hanging gracefully by their billowing robes from the branches of a tree. The figure holds the apple of knowledge in one hand and the egg of creation in the other. The snake often means temptation, but it also refers to awakening to opportunity emerging from the supporting branch. On this card, there is a great deal of fluidity and budding possibility in stasis. The Hanged Man is about suspending action and appending the old way of seeing things. There is so much to move towards or away from. Lovely. Next card. Death by Matt Hughes. The death card is a symbol of the alchemy of change. The embrace of illusion, normalization, and representation for LGBTQ plus community um, is in itself a rebirth of a positive future for us all. Because of this idea, I chose to pay homage to one of the greatest gay artists of this 20th century, Joseph Christian Leyendecker. Although he was not openly gay, Leyendecker lived with his partner, Charles Beach, until his death in 1954. One of the most well-known cover illustrators for the Saturday Evening Post, Robert E. Lee on uh, Traveler, uh, was the inspiration for my depiction of the death card. I felt it fitting, I felt it a fitting display of Change to reference a of change to reference a symbol of bigotry and otherness represented as Robert E. Lee and transform it into an image of profound change, inclusion, and oneness. 
death holding the LGBTQ plus flag symbolizes a charge for victory. I reversed the position of the figures from facing left to uh, facing right to indicate the difficulties the community has faced throughout the years. Lovely. Okay. This is a pretty card. Temperance by Ryan Edward. Temperance is about moderation, balance, and bringing opposite sides together. The rainbow icon of pride and representative of a uh, blend of identities sets the stage. It takes an even keel to bartend on any night, let alone during pride. This one must be absolute, an absolute angel. There's only tranquility and harmony here. Drinks are artfully mixed and delicately poured. Not too much, just enough. Next up. The Devil by Irene Lorenzi. The devil stands out in the universe while a man and a woman cling to its horns. The man and the woman are bound to each other and also to the devil with red ropes that also cover their eyes from which they can no longer see. Choosing to remain in the darkness is a kind of ignorance. The devil can lead to luck or ruin and indicates strong attraction and intense sexuality that can lead to salvation as well as destruction. In us lies a dark, abject side, fearful of the mysterious power of temptation. It is up to us to decide whether to free ourselves from the evil that stagnates in us or to let ourselves be overwhelmed by it. We have two paths to take. One of, one of good and the other of evil. It is up to us to decide which way to go. Next up. The Tower by Cat uh, Black. This tower card represents destruction, but the destruction of a tradition that may have held you prisoner. There can be pain and perhaps even rejection by loved ones when you come out or when you decide to live as your true self, but some castles deserve to crumble. The patriarchy will fall. You are strong enough to weather the storm. Next card, The Star, by Hannah Fofana. Key words, hope, optimism, faith, serenity, renewal, spirituality. A merman swims out from the weeds towards a bright light that shines from above and illuminates the deep, dark blue waters, symbolizing a sense of renewed hope and a spark of inspiration. His colorful, glimmering tail reflects his own vibrant energy, which is strong, beautiful, intuitive, and bright. This card is a positive sign of a bright and hopeful future. Even when you are down and at your most vulnerable, let the light inspire you and guide you through the roughest times. Let it be remind you of how powerful and beautiful your own intuition and strength can really be. Next card. The Moon. Key words are by Emily Balivet. Balivet. Key words. Untamed, in, instinctual, intu, intuitive, deception, hidden fears. The moon card traditionally speaks to the dual aspects of our animal nature, 
to both our wild and uncontrollable urges as well as our instinctual responses. The moon goddess is crowned with horns of a wild animal and her staff is topped with the symbol of chaos. Her gown has many patterns which symbolize a scattered influx of thoughts. The glowing full moon behind her represents her deep intuition, which illuminates and guides her. She is the queen of hidden meanings, and when her influence catches us off guard, we may find our thoughts run wild, causing deep anxiety and confusion. Anxiety is a useful tool that warns us when our current pattern of behavior is unsafe, unwise, and detrimental. Something must change. The light of the moon can also bring you lucidity and guide you to the correct path if you trust your instincts to lead you through the darkness. That's beautiful. Next up, The Sun by Isabel Hayes. Rejoice and embrace the dawn because the glorious sun, the river of life and good fortune is here to bathe you with happiness and fill you with strength and nobility. With the vibrant colors of the rainbow, it foretells rebirth, success, enthusiasm, serenity, spiritual enlightenment and healing. Enjoy the gaiety and warmth the sun brings. Stand tall in joy and pride. Let your light shine. That's beautiful. I love it. Next card. Judgment by Shira Silver. The Judgment Tarot card is one of self-reflection, realization, awakening, and new beginnings. The traditional card depicts an angel playing the uh, trumpet as three people rise from graves with outstretched arms. I chose to replace the angel with the poet Sappho due to her inspirational role as a source of guidance and comfort for queer women. Instead of nude figures rising from graves, I depicted two women and one child all clothed and living. This represents the new beginnings that come with accepting one's sexuality and or gender identity and the way in which this can be a spiritual and permanently life-changing experience. Beautiful. Next card. And I believe this is the last card, right? Yep, this is the last card in the Major Arcana. Um, the World by Christy C. Road. My World card portrays Dante Oxen, an activist, artist, and educator at Legacy Community Health. The World asks you to note the synchronized movements that mark the turning point you are at. Trust what's in progress and bask in what's complete. The world is a time where we are able to rise above our trauma, uh, own our mistakes, and honor our self-worth. As our consciousness is elevated and strong enough to fight and willing to survive, the world has access to all their gifts as their past, present, and future is finally integrated into one body. The world is prone to direct action, direct truth, and direct responsibility. The world is energetically aligned, broad in vision, and willing to listen. The world can see and feel the reality of healing as they walk through the earth in the truest manifestation of themselves. Well, that's a beautiful message. And that will do it for this video. Um, that was the Major Arcana. And then we will go through um, each of the suits, I believe. Let's see, our next one. Our next video is going to start with the suit of swords. So I'll see you in that next video and have a great day.